Hello everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing some more Civ 6. We're continuing our Let's Play of the Scythian Empire in which we're spamming a bunch of horses and conquering everyone we meet. By the way, uh, yeah, they don't have a suzerain now. I was wondering, because uh, uh, Egypt was the suzerain of Jer Jerusalem, but we took out Egypt in the last episode, I'm pretty sure. So they are no longer existent. Yeah, we're also about to plant a city down. Okay, I'm not quite sure where I left it off. This is my first recording for the day, so like always, we're like... Uh it's going to take me a couple turns to kind of remember everything I was doing. Uh, unit needs orders. Uh, horsey man, you are full HP. I mean, we're probably just going to go ahead and get in position to take him out now. I don't see any reason not to. Oh, yeah, we talked about waiting. We talked about waiting until we could upgrade our horse archers to field cannons. Uh, and we're still 6 plus 7 plus 1, so we're 14 turns away unless we get more science. Which, uh, maybe not the worst thing to wait for. Do we find all our civilizations yet, all our opponents? Um, score, no, there's still one left. So I suppose what we could do is just kind of send these guys out, uh, just to kind of scout and figure out where all the enemy is. Um, and then from there we can go kill them. So Mr. Builder, where are you going? You are coming down here if I remember correctly. So yeah, you just kind of chill here for a turn. Uh, my scout should be automating, but there's danger. Why is there danger? I mean, is this really considered danger? Okay. Uh, great general. Hey, we can actually move people faster. So we need to keep him near our infantry guys. So I will throw you down here and our infantry, we're just going to kind of keep in this general area while they heal. Um, but he's going to help move them quicker. Although they're going to get upgraded to a musket man and they will be re renaissance. And does he move classical and medieval? <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks. We finally get him to the front line and he's worthless. Yeah. <sighs> About right on this game. Okay, so he attacked me. Glories in gunpowder and loves. Um, can I finish him off? Yes, and that's gonna put me back at full HP. Boom. God, I love Scythia. Uh, so we got Niter now, and it's in our zone. That is awesome. That is our only Niter, though. Do we actually need that to upgrade the Musketmen? Uh, you were in our land. You need one nighter. Okay, so we need a worker down here ASAP. We have one being built in two turns. We also have this guy who has five builds left. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's going to take him quite a few turns to get here. So instead, we already have the mine on here. So where were we moving him exactly? Oh, there's also Nidra right here. Uh, oh, and actually, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be in our zone pretty quick. So let's go do this. Let's build our city here. Or were we building it here? Here. Uh, unclick real quick. No, go away. So here we got one, two, three. We cannot get this one. We got the truffles. We got one, two. Th cannot get those. Um, so this one doesn't really offer us anything right here. We're here. We'll get, uh, one, two, three. We'll get the bananas. Uh, one, two. We cannot get anything there. Yeah, I think this tile might be slightly better because we'll still get the truffles. We'll be surrounded by the river a little more. So it's going to be a little safer. And we'll be able to get that nighter quicker. So, sure. That sounds about right. This is, uh, Greece's, nah, this isn't their capital, but this is a pretty good production place. We need a granary to grow. We have swordsmen. Oh, yeah, we were being invaded by barbarian swordsmen over here. Um, I am gonna hold where I'm at. And actually, man, we take a negative on both of these. So I think I'm just going to let them go in and attack me. So we'll just kind of stay here and fortify. And just let them attack me. Now the question is, do I really want to build? I could build here, but I'm worried that the swordsman is going to come and knock me out. Or at least come destroy it, and then I just have to rebuild it. I think I'm just going to come bring you here and kind of hope to tempt them to come at me. 
Uh, what else do we have? We got our Niter, by the way. Uh, Knight is available for a promotion. Let's go ahead and promote him right away. Uh, units in districts or when defending against ranged. Hmm. One additional attack if movement allows. See, this one's really good. Against damage units, that's actually really good too. Why did I take this one? I actually think Barding's way better. Well, let's just go down this tree since that's where we went. But I think that right tree is far superior looking at it again. Uh, okay, what do we have? We have a builder here. We already built our spices. We built our mercury over there. So we could pop a farm or a mine. Probably come down here and actually buy that tile. Mr. Knight, I think we're just going to sit here and link you two up just to keep you safe. Uh, then this is the guy that's putting this stuff inside our zone, so we'll activate you. And I need uh, another builder down on this side. Next turn, we can start getting one. You have enough movements to do this? You have four, four. That's one, two, three, correct? Should allow me to attack. Dang it. it didn't allow me to attack. All right, so I guess because of the forest, it's three. Hmm. Interesting. That's fine. Uh, let's go move you up here. Let's take you over here, and we're going to try scouting down here a little bit. Uh, Mr. Horsey, let's take you this direction then. You, I can't move any further, so end your turn. I can't cross the river with you, so let's just get you to the edge. Uh, do we need another unit down here? We could finish this guy off. I think it's probably better to shoot this guy. I'll take you down there, and we can probably kill you. Yes, we can. And do we really need to send you down there? I don't think so. So we're going to keep scouting this direction. And you guys are all fully HP'd. Sounds good. Uh, so can I put you on automated now? Thank you. What is going on here? I have a builder. Okay, we do need the builder. What should we get? Probably the farm first. How many builds we got? Four? Eh, that works. You need a heal, please. You also need a heal, please. You are my Sun Tzu, who doesn't really do anything for me at this point. I, I mean, okay. Classical and medieval land units. So these are what? Medieval? How do I actually... Where do... How do I actually see that? I saw that before. Is it under horsemen? I can rename them. Uh... Horsemen. They are... Classical. So, okay, technically they would move them um, a little bit quicker. So, sure, maybe we'll keep you over here by my horsies. I mean, I guess I could move them with these guys and all these guys get an extra move, so, sure. Ah, you... I'm gonna take you over here. Uh, we're just gonna explore. On some niter. Trade routes! That's what we need. Uh, we want internal trade routes because we want roads. I cannot go to any of my lands except these two. And they already have roads, do they not? No, they don't. I still think I want to get this built. My concern is, is I'm going to build the road right here. And I think I want the road to go like chink and then jink. Yeah, we probably should just go to Shabit and be done with it. Shadet? Shadet? I think Shadet, actually. Yeah, he, she didn't build roads to her land at all. Did I just transfer this? I just did transfer, didn't I? I think. I don't know what I just did. Uh, you guys get an extra movement now. Just chill. Because I want to cross the river. Oh, our galley's over here. Yeah, just kind of explore the coast. Brazil is somewhere over here. And we still have one more guy as well. Um, I probably want to come help out. One, two, three, four. So I will not be able to attack the horseman. So I think instead I'll just come shoot this guy. Because I could always use this guy to kill him to get full HP next turn if he gets attacked and hurt. Next turn.
You actually attacked my... Really, then? Well, this is what I'm thinking. Or did they both attack me? They might have both attacked me. But this should finish him off. That gets me back to full HP. And this finishes you off. And goodbye, horsey. Boom. We complete a wonder. Pedro finished the oracle. <laughs> That's like, what, rank one uh, a wonder? So, sure, good job. What also happened over here? I saw a bunch of hat crap happen. So, someone attacked something. But I'm at full HP, so did someone, like, suicide themselves into me? I think I... Uh, ah. I think I am just gonna attack him. We could come back. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hang here with my fortification bonus. So, choose production. Could we buy a unit there? That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. How much money do we got? Yeah, we got enough. Let's go buy. Maybe an archer. I don't have any archers. <sighs> could buy a knight, which would just run over these guys really bad. Yeah, let's buy the knight. Archer's gonna do decent, the knight's just gonna own. So yeah, let's get the knight. We got the industrial zone up and working. I need a worker down here, don't I? A builder, not a worker, different game. Uh, You just finished a trader. So now we're gonna be able to max out our trade routes. Um, industrial zone? Maybe? We get plus one here, plus two here. And then we'll get another one here when we get a mine. Sure. Let's build the industrial zone. I could probably use another builder over here. Yeah. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, this guy's got five builds, but he's also really far away. So let's go ahead and settle this town and just be done with it. And I want you to come work over here. And can I just buy a worker builder? Thank you. And I need, yeah, I need a few things here. We'll probably first go for the niter and then move from there so we can upgrade our uh, dudes. You are a brand new city. Let's build a granary. We're going to send you somewhere else, probably back to the front. Uh, actually, maybe we keep him over here. Yeah, he might not be a bad thing just to keep over here. Just in case. So, we did finish... You. So, this is showing the trade route destination. I would like to go to Shadet. I don't think I can make it. I can't. So, let's first go to Miriv. And then, we now have a trader over here. And I may go to Miriv this way. And then, we have to connect up this way. But, yeah, let's just connect these two. And then the next trader that becomes available, I'll send over here and go up to Rock Cadet. Um, really, I need to get like uh, Mubambi and take that over and then send a trader out that way. But we're a little bit away from that, so we're okay. We are going to go for the iron with you in Charleston, but we can't afford that quite yet. We're also out of money. So yeah, that's another thing. Um, one... I think that actually ends my turn. One, two. Yeah, so we're gonna put ourselves right here. So next turn, he's gonna like move out and we'll be able to shoot him with both of our guys. Uh, we're gonna move you guys in here. I may just wanna straight declare war and take over their unit. So that's one less city I have to worry about. We do have enough units here. We still are a little bit away from being able to um, upgrade like we want, so maybe we just hold off on their city. Or hold off actually attacking their cities, since they could just like straight murder us. Oh, I need to actually heal you still. You are going to heal. You fully healed, so yeah, let's bring you up. We also can upgrade these guys two in one turn, so we may just like do it and just keep our horse archers far enough away. We might have enough melee units that we don't have to worry about it. Because we could just like bring you guys up here. We're a little out of position, but not terrible. God 
God, he's slow, <laughs> which is ironic. And you can't go anywhere else. You do have an extra move, but I can't use it, so. Uh, Mr. Builder, build me a farm. And then from there, go build me this, and then we'll go work on the bananas. Oh, we also have the tobacco over here. I think I have tobacco, so I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, let's go here and shoot you dead. Goodbye. Just kind of wanted to see what was down here. I know I do have this guy who's coming close who can probably finish exploring it, but eh, we're here. I don't think, obviously, there's not going to be a civilization down there, so. Huh. Well, we found their encampment. It means Brazil must be up here. Well, it means there's two different, uh, two different countries that are over there. All right, next turn, I guess. And he just might be dead at this point. Yeah, he's attacking me, and I'm like full. <laughs> I'm healing back to full HP. That's pretty awesome, actually. Okay, so first things first, let's finish this guy off and get back to full HP. Well, higher HP. Now, we can come attack this guy. I think what I want to do is I'm going to put you here, though, and maybe just fortify, and then we'll move you here. And get you back up, get a promotion. Sounds good. Now they have two units left. We have three units available. Yeah, we might as well go beat this guy a little bit. There's no reason not to. Um, so we got a builder finished here. We have the knighter down here, but this guy's going to come get you. So that means you go get my horsies. And next turn, we'll have our knighter. So you finished the builder. Next... I think I may want to put a unit over here, just in case. Like, maybe I just throw down an archer just so we have... Well, we do have a horseman right there, but... Yeah, we're making we're making good money. I don't... That shouldn't be a problem. I think we're okay doing that. Okay, so we're going to move you back to build up there. You are where we need to be. Unfortunately, I probably cannot... Uh, purchase this tile anymore. Yeah, it's 125. Next turn we can purchase, so skip your turn. Come down here with my swordsman. You are at full HP. Let's move you up. Actually, yeah, that's good. You're still in borders. I don't want to move you outside my borders because I'm going to level you next turn. Uh, everyone else can probably go declare war on this guy right now. We just got to shoot down the catapult. Hi. Oh, there we go. It really doesn't matter. There's only like two you, two guys that. left. So, uh, you are no strangers to war. You have strayed from God's path, and now we will correct it. Yeah, you're right. I am no stranger to war. Um, considering I have dominated everyone we have met. So, sorry, sorry to do this to you, but some things must be done. And I want this. Yay, now we got their settler. Mainly, I didn't want to have to worry about um, them settling another city, and then I have to, like, you know, build and all that, or, or, or take out another city. That just, ugh, is annoying. So we'll move you guys all this way. I, I think I'm just going to keep my horse archers kind of out of the fight for the time being. Yeah, that should be okay. Skip your turn. Skip your turn. Skip your turn. Skip your turn? Well, you know what? Maybe we move our horsemen in this direction. We could take Mumbambi probably pretty easily. We'll have to worry about the actual town itself, but I shouldn't have any issues putting a couple there. So who all declared war on me now? City-states. I'm at war with uh, these guys and Geneva and these guys. Not the worst case scenario, but this is one of their swordsmen, so we do need to watch that. I could probably come shoot them. I don't know. They The AI doesn't tend to bring... There's Brazil's unit. The AI doesn't tend to bring... Uh, uh, well, at least the city-states tend to not bring a lot of units into a war, so it's probably okay. I wonder if I need to scout over here. It doesn't really seem to be necessary. I don't think there's going to be anyone down here. Um, who else declared war? Lisbon, Geneva, Geneva, Lisbon. Yeah, whatever. Can I just unclick all this? Ah, hate that. 
you get up here. So then, which city states am I suzerain of? Zanzibar and Lisbon. They're joining me. Zanzibar and Lisbon. Lisbon's there. Zanzibar. Way up there. Yeah, they don't really help me. Okay. <laughs> I already attacked with all you guys. So what's left? We are still trying to find Brazil. We found an encampment, however, which is not Brazil, but it will give us a free builder when all things are, when all things are said and done. Ah. And yeah, let's go move you guys up as well. Horsey archers, let's get you back up. You know what would be nice? If I could take over Mumbambi, um, and then I could have this as my territory and then move all my horse archers there to upgrade them in like 10 turns. That would be nice. I don't know. We might be able to do it in 10 turns. Let's keep scouting this way. I figured since he's so quick, he might as well come down there. We don't need all the horse archers. Like we're a little, op um, well, we have a little, probably too many units at this point. Like, we have enough units probably to declare war on everyone and fight all three at the same time. So, well, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. We are once again at war. We really can't go longer than an episode without declaring war, it seems. But this should be... This should be a little bit harder of a war, mostly because I kind of have to keep my horse archers out of this or they're just going to straight die. So... Mostly, that was just a war of opportunity to take out uh, his uh, settlers so he didn't plan another city and then I'd have to worry about taking down that city. So I'll probably use my horse, ar horse archers here and then just kind of keep them, you know, to kill any units that may come out. Uh, but for the most part, we may not move in yet, at, at least for a few turns. We'll have to see. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, drop a like, go ahead and comment, let me know what you guys think. And as always, hit the subscribe button, join the game comment, share your support. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.